¿Cómo estamos? Hola. <laughs> you guys remember how uh, I put a new radio in the Mamalongis, right? And I told you guys I'm getting rid of it because of it's just too expensive. Well, so far, I mean, I'm still in it, as you guys can see. But we already have an appointment for us to uh, take it back. Not take it back, but uh, to give it to CarMax and get some money out of it. Uh, but I know you guys probably remember me putting the radio in here. And I was so excited and stoked. You guys are probably wondering, are you leaving it in? Hell no. I'm not letting them keep that. <laughs> I barely just paid it off anyway. So what I'm going to do is uh, I already took it out. As a matter of fact, look. See? has its just its regular, regular, regular radio now. The speakers, of course, there's nothing I could do about that. So they're going to keep those. But at least that is gone, you know. And I have it in the box now. So yeah, um, speakers are gonna stay there, it's fine, it's whatever. I'll take an L on that. I mean, I took an L in this car, no matter what, but we're positive now, it's all good. <laughs> it's for the greater good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so with the other one, we're gonna put it in my dad's car instead. Let him enjoy it, Merry Christmas. <laughs> if I tell him that, if I tell him even if it's like his birthday gift, he'd be like, no, 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 hell no. I already know how he is, um, but yeah. Gonna put that in his car. Got it. Got the whole uh, radio out of here. It was a little bit of a struggle, but it didn't take too long to take it out. So hopefully, uh, they give me the full amount that they said they were gonna give me and uh, pay off a credit card and keep on saving. But yeah, I've been uh, taking the bus and the train uh, since the middle of this week already. Uh, it's not bad. It's just a whole waking up way earlier that's killing me. But hey, we're gonna get through it. I'm hoping within a year I have enough money to probably get a new vehicle. Uh, I'm not gonna let you guys know what I'm looking at because I've been looking at it now. Because I want to look at it now so that way I have it in my mind of this is the goal and we're gonna reach that goal no matter what. And that is true. We are gonna reach that goal no matter what. I have my mindset. We're concentrating on that goal and that's what I'm gonna do from now on. So, yeah. <laughs> As always, I'm at work. Uh, right now, oh man, it was, let me tell you, it was actually kind of hell getting here. Um, it's already, it's been already a couple of hours. Um, the reason why I was hell trying to get here is because I had accidentally forgot my uh, venture card to get on the bus and the train. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like, great. So... I had to remember that, hey, you could actually add the card to your wallet, to your Apple wallet, right? So I did that. I did add it. And then once the bus came, I was going and trying to use it. And it just kept on saying card cannot be read, like off the phone. And I even took off the phone cover from it. And it said the same thing. So I was like, I don't know what's going on. And I told the, the bus driver, like, yeah, like, look, like I do have money on it. So I know it's not that. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And at the end, you know, I don't know why. I guess bus drivers always have like some type of attitude. Um, but he was just like, all right, you got to get it fixed. Come on. He just pushed the button and let me through. And I was just like, OK, you know, which was nice. Didn't need the attitude, but it was nice and then he let me uh, go. And then. I thought it was just that, but then once I got to the orange line stop and I tried to use it, the same thing was going on. And then this time it was the it was a lady there, you know, the the transit for for the CTA. She was like there, um, and she was in her office, and I was just like, hey, like you know, it's not reading it. And instead of her coming out, she's like yelling through the glass. And she's getting frustrated with me, and it's like you could have just came out of the room and told me exactly what to do instead of like yelling through the window. Cause I was like right in front of her. She's like, oh, the um, the app doesn't work or whatever. It's, or it's not working correctly. Uh, and I was like, okay. So she's like, just go right through. And I was like trying to go right through and pushing it. And she, she's like, no, like you got to do this. And I'm like trying to, like, I don't, I don't get what she's saying. It's like, she's saying it through the window. Like I can't really hear you through the window. And not only that, but then they have the, the Pulaski orange line stop. Like they have it blocked off, like where they could speak through. I don't know why, but they have it all blocked off. So I can't really hear her no matter what. 
and no matter how hard like how loud she's like saying things i could hardly hear her and then she goes and she i kind of see her going like this to like push the button on the other side for me to go through and i push and i go through and i got here on time but it was hell <laughs> So hopefully when I get home, I'm gonna look for my card. I can't remember if I left it in my other jacket or if I left it in the sweater. I don't know. I don't know where, where it's at for now. But once I get home, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll, I'll find it. But uh, yeah, right now in a bit, I'm about to head out and go get my food. We're getting Shake Shacks, unas hamburguesas, unas cheeseburgers. So that's what I'm gonna end up getting. Uh, should probably start heading out now because it is like a five minute walk from here. So it's not like across the street. Hey, at least I get to walk outside and get some fresh air. Already walking back from Shake Shack. My bolts are right here, all right? So, it seems like there's a lot of street performers. I don't know what's going on, but it's super packed on the streets. It's crazy, but I'm almost there. Different angle of where I work. It's over here somewhere. I'm a little bit out of breath because Trying to hurry back up. Can't be gone for too long, you know? Because <laughs> I don't know exactly what's going on when I'm gone. But hopefully everything is good and nothing's uh, nothing's down, nothing's on fire. <laughs> so, at least I'm gonna get up there and I'll show you guys right now what I got. Because I, I got two sandwiches and some fries. So, yeah. Yeah. Ya que estoy. Aquí adentro y estoy bien calmado, now that I'm already calmed down from all the walking. Ah, uh, here it is. I actually thought I was, I swear to you, that this game was supposed to start earlier. But I guess it changed me while I was gone. I don't know why, but I guess it did. Uh, this is what I got, look. Of course, the, the fries, the fries. Got a double cheeseburger, right? But then I got this sandwich right here, this chicken sandwich. It looks so good. I think it comes, Ah, oh, they messed up. They were supposed to give me the sauce with it. It was supposed to be a spicy, a spicy uh, sandwich. Damn you, Shake Shack. But I know it's still gonna be good. The other thing is that there's no ketchup around here. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I guess just eat it like that. And you know, since there's no ketchup, can't put no ketchup on the fries or nothing like that. So it is what it is. <laughs> So let me get to eating and then keeping up with these games and really everything's been kind of slow and then i'm also working on the next vlog and they'll be out by the time you guys see this one anyway so <laughs> you guys have you guys know how it is with me uh, i say oh what's well, gonna come out of the time this comes out it's already out da -da -da -da, whatever ya tu sabe. all right so let me get to eating because i'm hungry i haven't eaten since like 9 a.m. and it's almost 5.30 p.m. So, we are back at work and yes, it is a bear Sunday today. Uh, also, the uh, if you hear that going off, you know, it's actually because it's, it's getting cold out here, uh, out here in Chicago. So, uh, the heaters are turning on already. <laughs> uh, I still, I feel perfectly fine, it's whatever, but Right now, it's the Chicago Marathon going on. I did see the helicopter pass by, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Somewhere down here is uh, where the runners go and celebrate afterwards. Celebrate with like a, I think last time, the past few years, it was like, they would give you like a beer and like a banana or whatever. They, they had like alcoholic drinks. I don't know how that works after running like a 26.2 mile marathon. <laughs> Uh, which goes throughout the whole like city like different neighborhoods. So I don't know how that works I mean, I don't think that's what I would want to do after running for that much I mean, I don't even run that much to top it off not even like the whole week maybe the whole month But yeah, they're out there uh, doing their thing uh, I did I mean I did I was able to get into work very easily um, Maybe if I had to start earlier, maybe I would have been stuck out there, but I'm not yeah Chicago Marathon, Lake Michigan. Hopefully the Bears win, but I don't know, man. I don't know. We're starting to sound like the Cubs. Maybe next year, maybe next year, 100 years later, still saying the same damn thing. 
heading back home. Uh, of course, I'm in a car. Right now, you're probably like, oh, but I thought you got rid of the mamalonis. That's tomorrow. But this car, put the window up. This car is not my car. It's actually my dad's car. And since he doesn't work on Sundays, he let me uh, use it. So, I mean, I had asked him if I could use it. Uh, so he let me use it. And so that's what I'm driving. So this is his car. You know? uh, this is where we're gonna put the radio. We're gonna replace this one. With the one that was in the Mamalonis. Especially because it was brand new still. Sorry if it looks a little dark. Um, but yeah, heading home. Tengo una hambre que olvídate. But the good thing is que, que allá en casita tengo, tengo dos tortas que me están esperando. <laughs> no, for sure, one of them is the asada, and then the other one is adobada, I believe is what they told me. So, we're gonna have that. Um, and then, yeah, just have that and chill. Tomorrow, of course, I'm gonna show you guys saying bye bye to the mamalonis. Um, I don't need it in my life, letting it go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And by the way, the bears lost. That's not anything new, right? freaking bears uh, so yeah they lost I know right now when I get home my dad is gonna be mad that they lost so it is what it is guys I know I keep on saying that it is what it is because it truly really is what it is what can we do we can't change it so oh well maybe next game or like how the Cubs would say for such a long time we have next year I don't know Today is the big day that this car will be gone. The Mamalonis haven't driven it since. It got messed up. But yeah, today's the day that this bad boy is gone. And then uh, we start uh, saving up, saving up and paying off stuff. Uh, it's kind of weird because I think it took, I'll be, I'll be uh, honest with you guys. I feel like it took something like this to happen for me to feel like uh, I needed to grow up <laughs> uh, I've always acted uh, like a kid um, even in my 20s still acted like a kid now I'm in my 30s now I'm 31 but I feel like if this needed to happen in order for uh, things to change for me and to tell you the truth, like I said, I feel like this happened and it made it makes me feel more like a, a grown person, you know, like a grown up. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, this car is going to be gone. There's not much that I have to clean up, you know, just a couple of things here. I usually tend to keep like the inside of my car clean, just that. And then I have to clean to take like that out my pillow and the blanket and just whatever's in the glove compartment what isn't much but yeah like i said i do feel like this happened for me for a reason for me to grow up a little bit all right i'm still gonna be like a kid but i feel i feel different after this uh, in a good way i know in the last vlog i was all like i was all distruct and all like oh you know i'm not okay but now after like a couple of days have passed basically a week actually um i feel okay i feel perfectly fine it is what it is um but yeah we're gonna save money uh, to get a new car uh from the dealership of course from the dealership i'm not gonna be buying it off the street my dad also convinced me that not to go with a used vehicle because actually they're uh, more expensive or as expensive as the new vehicles so why not get a new one where I could get the warranty and everything? So that's what I'm going to do. I've been looking at vehicles. I'm not going to tell you guys which ones. Um, but who knows? Maybe someone out there right now watching this video is trying to give me bad juju. <laughs> uh, you know, there's always going to be people that cheer for you. And there's always going to be people that, uh, you know, are against you. So uh, I have to be a little bit careful with uh, uh, what I say now. <laughs> so... There's only a couple of people um, that know uh, my plan and how I'm going to execute this plan. Um, and so far, it seems like it's going to work out for me. So, yeah, let's get this car nice and cleaned up. 
get everything out of there and uh, yeah bye bye mama lonies adios till latest not till latest but uh hopefully you're good to someone else <laughs> So pull it from that side, make it go over that pulley, or under actually. Hey homie, stay inside for me, kids. Como están pobres? Cabrón. Trying to fix my brother's car right now. I'm sure trying to get my package. I think uh, it should have gotten here by now, because mom's package got here already. They deliver at different times. It's happened before. Okay, so since my brother is so worried about his package, I came over here and I just realized that he put this up. He put a sign up with his phone number <laughs> to call him so that way he could get a signature. Now, that's the thing, that's, I just said it earlier. Um, they dropped off my mom's package already. UPS, so they should have dropped his off. But not only that, but then we're cutting it close because right now in about like... 14 minutes or so, we gotta go to go drop off the mamalones and say goodbye to it. So, yeah. And they're still trying to fix my brother's car at the same time, so. Crazy, crazy out here. Oh, yeah, beautiful day. Uh, cleaned up nicely and I'm trying to, I was trying to film, uh, trying to do a TikTok, but then I realized the time and I was like, I guess still gotta cut my hair, which I did. That's why, yeah. Push. No tengo nada. Uh, do that and then uh, like I still got to take a shower, which I already did all of that. I'm just waiting for us to uh, leave. That's it. All right. The Mamalonis is gone. It's somewhere back there. Somewhere back there. So we sold it to Carmex. Uh, my parents are not here yet. Um, they were supposed to meet me here, but it's all good. I'm just trying to <laughs> leave before they realize that uh, the car is not really at 100%. So, hey, I'm just trying to get my money, some money back and pay some stuff off. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, hopefully they deposit the check right now on the way back home. I'm out here on the streets. Well, it's a kind of ridge over there. You can hardly see it. But yeah, right now just gonna wait to the get here but yeah no more mamalonis it's gone now time to save up and uh get a new car can't wait for you guys to see that it might take me it might take me about a year to save up for a new car but hey we're gonna do it though we're gonna do it it's possible uh, but yeah it's not like i'm gonna get it right away guys it's gonna take anywhere from half half a year to a whole year for me to get the full amount that i need to basically almost pay off the car so yeah i'm gonna get that done <sighs> i'm just glad it's gone i don't have to worry about that no more now all right so i decided not to go to the mall but instead vamos a ir al restaurante que quiere ir papá he wants to check out this barbecue uh place that's not actually too far from carmax for me it's like a 15 minute walk which means they'll get there maybe at the same time that i do or i'll get there before them because they're at the house uh it feels a little weird not having a, a car to get to that place because uh you get to it much faster but i will say that it is much peace like much peaceful or it's more peaceful it feels peaceful walking uh very relaxing uh we're not in chicago this is a suburb it's uh this is considered oak lawn <laughs> which is kind of weird because at the same time where the restaurant's at it's kind of between oak lawn and hickory hills man uh i usually don't walk around chicago at late at night unless i really have to <laughs> actually it's pretty peaceful and I'm hungry so I'm trying to get there as soon as I can hopefully my parents and my brother get there at the same time everybody has loud trucks out here though but that's my malonas all right let me get 
let me get going and get there as soon as I can. Hungry, Mama? Huh? You hungry? No. You hungry, guys? Hell yeah. We hungry. Yeah. We're all hungry. Even the little one. Yeah, we came here to uh, the Pitts Rip House. Apparently, they've been here like four or five times already. This is their fourth time, I believe. I'm starving. Um, gonna get the barbecue chicken and some rib tips. My mom's getting the same thing. I'm just. I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping that it doesn't happen like the other one guy. Remember when we ordered our food and they like, oh, we ran out of. No. So as long as as long as they have what we ordered, not like last time, you know. And they're putting on the game in the back. You know? Monday, Monday night football. Look at that! Look at that! Half for wings. You know, you know, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, but show them what you brought, though. Show them what you brought. Yeah. Tell them what it is though. This is Mexican powdered pepper, which is real hot. <laughs> Celebrating a lost 13 pounds. <laughs> My dad literally always has to have his uh, his uh, pepper with, with, with him. Why didn't you put it on the house? No, que no te iba a echar uno. I'm just going to eat one. Yeah, that no se iba a echar uno. Se antojó el olor. That que no iba a comer. I just not lost 13 pounds. I just got I just got rid of another car so I guess I'm celebrating too. That's why he's paying. Eric just lost a couple to the food. Look at this. You know? Con quesito, you know? I think there's the bacon supposed to be in there somewhere. That fries. Oh, I got the same thing. Just my fries. There's nothing else up in here. There's chicken too. <laughs> Chicken with uh, some oregano or cilantro? Cilantro. Cilantro? No, that's oregano, homie. Oh, so I had it right the first time. Damn, Mexican here. <laughs> Who the so hell yeah. makes chicken with cilantro? <laughs> Have you ever had a chicken taco? Nah. Uh -huh. Mira, mira. Professional right here. Professional. Do it like how I taught you. And I saw the camera on the 14. Do it how, do it how I taught you. You flip it upside down. Oh. You go right here, you flip it upside down like this, you put me at angles, angles. This is how I take my pictures with the cameras facing downward. That's just how you do it. That's how you do it. It's the garlic bread. Yeah, garlic. You ready? You ready, Ma? You ready for your watch? Look at it. Her new watch. The watch that your dad didn't want you to look. You said what guy can? Uh, she just said she fucking could tell uh, what time it is by looking at the sky. Yeah, but I can't tell how many no. steps in a day I have. <laughs> fucking count on each time you walk. You go one, two, uh, she, three. Yeah, three. It's, it's gonna measure, you see, a lot of the things, you know, she said, health, health wise. She said she used to be able to tell. Yes. And now she's now, fucking going blind. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. But you're right now. You know, it'll take care of your menstrual cycle. Oh, the new one. See, that's another time. No, but it, but it takes care of what's the other thing? Um, my heart. Your heart is all that. My heart issues. Yeah, keep tracks of menstrual cycle. It's perfect for you. All of it. All of it. So right now I'm going to get this up and running and then uh, get it connected to my mom. So that way she could wear it at work tomorrow. So the principal... Can stop being an A O. Alright, mama. Then post it tomorrow. Man, I keep on forgetting my uh <laughs> my GoPro, but it's all good though. At least I have the phone, right? Phone <laughs> is the one that's I've uh, been saving me, especially with the new cameras and all that. Um, so yeah, I'm uh I'm back here to uh, get the whole body realignment again. You know, the second session. Um, supposed to do three sessions like uh every 15 days or something like that and then after that i could switch over to just once a month um it's good to have the body alignment you know the body readjustment so that way you feel nice and you know loose especially with me working out like crazy like the way i'd be working out you know with this whole thing with the car happening i tend to like you know by uh the way i worked out my whole uh anger issues uh, Cause trust me, back in the day, I used to have a lot of anger issues, guys. Um, I would even like, like hit things, 
myself like hit like actually hit like the wall or something and it's not healthy um but yeah i was able to uh do that on my own without actually having to uh go anywhere to like have therapy um my therapy is actually going to the gym and working out and then writing of course sometimes i do end up writing whether it be just like writing a journal like writing in a journal or a notebook actually uh or um or just writing poems um i've always done that when i was young i realized that you know sometimes the way i feel about certain things or someone i uh explain it a lot better when well, i explain a lot better but like i because what's the right thing i could say i let it all out through my writing um especially if it's like someone that like i'm feeling someone that i like that i have a crush on or anything like that uh, i couldn't find that in your apple music library you can ask me to play a radio station or ask for your music on no a different app. shut up <laughs> um i um i realized that you know if especially if it's someone that i like or I have a crush on or anything like that um i have a hard time trying to say it right like me actually talk about it like letting you guys know <laughs> or letting that person know um i do better like me writing it and then i'll tell that person hey i wrote something for you and then i'll read it to them um so i've always done that instead which i've been better at that than just going with the flow and letting you know like right off the top of my head um because i like to make sure that i'm saying the right things to you you know um but yeah uh you know i'm here to get my body realignment and then after that we're gonna go work out uh feeling good right now we're in my mom's car um thankfully you know my parents weren't they're not using their vehicles they told me that i could use them um, they just want me to be safe of course you know i've always told them like hey you know i'll i'll just take the bus i'll take the train it doesn't matter but of course my parents being my parents um they're like no you know we want you to be safe um so take the car which i'm very grateful for uh but like i said yeah hopefully within like six months to a year i'll have a, a brand new vehicle um i'm excited for that i already have like set goals and what i'm gonna do and like a, a budget as well uh which the budget is not bad i'll still be able to spend money on myself as far as like getting food and all that more of the necessities than just buying just because i want to buy so uh yeah i have the whole thing of uh like a whole budget for all that stuff or even like if i want to go on vacation i still have i still somehow found out a way to uh, budget that in as well um so it's not like i'm just gonna be like oh i'm not gonna spend no money whatsoever no i'm still gonna spend money like splurge a little bit and like to enjoy life so don't forget to enjoy life guys all right um so I'm just gonna sit here and wait until the family friend gets here and i'm gonna go and uh get that whole body adjustment if you agree at the end <laughs> so here we go <laughs> i came back from the gym and i had leftovers from yesterday something was wrong with my stomach i don't know what it might have been that uh, i didn't really eat much but here's my leftover food look at it look at it looks so good i'm ready to eat gotta eat real quick and then go pick up my mom um i was just gonna drop off the car and then uh ride my bike back but she was a little bit worried because uh it started raining outside she's like you're gonna get sick you know you know how it is you don't know um uh, especially latina moms you know parents in general but latina moms you know how they are also you know? i'm gonna listen to her especially she's like you just went to the gym it's raining um she's like you don't want to get wet and get sick and then she's like you also got the massage so you want to be nice and relaxed so i'm like all right i'm listening to you <laughs> i need to learn to listen more guys i need to learn to listen more because a lot of the times i'm just like ah you know i'll be like okay and then i do this. the opposite uh and plus person watching this you know who i'm talking you know i'm talking to you uh she would agree with that uh, but i'm learning to listen more so that's what i'm gonna do uh, so yeah let me get to eating and then go pick up my mom <laughs> 